Hey runners, we all like to set a new PR yeah, each race that we do. And you know, that's a great short time goal to strive for. But but there's one thing that's even more important than that, that that you should you should do as a long-term goal, and that's to improve your VO2 max. Now stay tuned and I'll I'll explain to you why especially for us runners in our 50s, 60s and 70s it's so extremely important that we keep an eye on our VO2 max and do whatever it takes to improve that. Hi, I'm Herb the Forever Runner and I'm a heart attack survivor, author and coach and I help older runners in their 50s, 60s and 70s effortlessly run faster without fear of pain or injury as even as they get older. So, so today uh, I wanna talk about the importance of, of maintaining your aerobic capacity. Um, and it has ramifications more than just uh, helping you with your runs, but it actually has a lot to do with how long you're gonna live an active life. So first of all, what, what is VO2 max? Well, VO2 max is, is just a measurement of your maximum ability to utilize oxygen to create energy in your body. And uh, it's, it's, it's normally measured by, by in, in a lab by, by you running on a treadmill with the, a mask on and and measuring your output uh, uh, to calculate, but but fortunately uh, nowadays there's uh, there's other other ways we can we can do just by uh, looking at our smartphone or or something like that. So the interesting thing uh, about VO2 max is uh, researchers have found that there's a direct correlation between your VO2 max and longevity. And, and, and that is that someone with a low VO2 max it has up to four times the chance of dying early than someone with a high VO2 max. So what what does that look like? Let's 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 take a look at the uh, what the numbers look like. So here's a chart showing the VO2 max ranges for both males and females and uh, the, the different levels that you'll find in the measurements. And they're, and they're rated from poor to fair to good to excellent to superior. So, so what the studies have found is someone in the low range of, of VO2 max for their age group so if we're over over here in the 50 year old males, um, if your VO2 max is below 35.6, then you have a much higher percent chance of dying sooner than someone who's up in the 5% uh, percentile or uh, the 48.9 uh, reading for VO2 max ranges. And, and the same thing goes for women in 50. If they're below 30, um, they they don't have a very uh, healthy outlook uh, for health span. Whereas if they're in the superior range, uh, they're multiple times uh, better than uh, of, of having an active life. And and what we're talking about here is is actually adding years to your health span. So not only how long you live, but how long you're active and and be able to move around and function a, as you get old. So the, the cool thing about this is um, it's it's all treatable. So you can you can actually train to improve your VO2 max even if you're an older runner. And the, the advantage you have as being a runner is this is something that, that you can do. And uh, compared to someone who, who doesn't run or is a couch potato, um, 
it, it's very difficult for them to get up to these very high high ranges without a ton of work. But but there there are specific ways that that we can work on to to build your VO two max and get up into that superior range. So so how do you how do you know what your VO two max is right now without having to go to an expensive lab test? Um, well, let's 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 take a look. So I pulled up my my Garmin uh, Connect app, and um, if if you go over to uh, the health stats and and down to heart rate. Um, you can see here under training status, it, it shows a, a, a calculated VO2 max uh, for me. And uh, so if you have a Garmin, uh, you can go into your uh, Garmin Connect app on your phone or on the computer and look that up. Um, uh, some smartwatches will, will have a VO2 max estimate. Um, now, are all these uh, accurate? Uh, as compared to a lab test, uh, probably not. But um, it, it's it's a ballpark thing, and and the main reason to be uh, keeping an eye on this is is you want to you want to keep working on making that number higher rather than letting it go lower. So increasing your VO two max as an older runner is. Um, uh, is is uh, how I do it is is like a three step process um, where uh, number one we 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 build our aerobic base our aerobic capacity um, and then second uh, we we work on uh, some sprints to to help with your uh, running mechanics and running efficiency and and then third we will do a specific VO2 max uh, workout uh, that that after a, a couple three months you you will you will see some increase in your VO2 max. So um, I can go into more detail uh, on on that process in, in a in another video. But for now, the the main thing is I want want you to just. Uh, start tracking your VO2 max and let, let me know where it is and if you want to do something about it. And I'll see you in the next one.